going to go a different way than I usually go to um, the downtown Bel Air area. I'm going to go through a whole bunch of housing developments and um, along here it's almost like one big uh, single development. They're like all interconnected with each other. And uh, I tried this once um, on Friday and I got a little lost, so I hope I don't mess this up again. Let's see. I think. to an ends, and then I think I may go left. Oh, and by the way, I'm in Forest Hill right now. This development is called Forest Lakes. It was all built mostly in the 1990s. And some of the newer um, houses were built as late as 2003. So this is all relatively new along here. And then down here are some condominium buildings, which are also only about a decade and a half old. And now we'll turn right here. And then down here, um, these houses and townhouses right here are a little older. These are all late 80s, early 90s. And then at the end of this road, um, the developments down there are even older like maybe 1970s, maybe even late 60s, they were built. But over here is maybe late 70s. And now, right around here, I'm gonna let this car go. Right around here is the line between Forest Hill and Bel Air. Let's see. Now I'll go here. I think I overshot that turn just a little. Yeah, and right here, these are among the oldest houses along this route that I'm taking. And um, we're also now in Bel Air. So I could have taken, um, we're back at that same road that I was just on a few seconds ago. I could, just could have taken that down there. I completely forgot about that. Oh, well. And now here's, well, one of the more main roads. Wait, no, I gotta turn right here. That's right. Well, there are 
there's a couple different ways I can go here. And here's some more older houses. And now I'm turning here. I just kind of went in a circle because I kind of forgot the route. But now I'm going where I want to go. This development is called Marywood, and it's pretty old. These are at least 40 years old, probably 50. So like 60s, early 70s. And now we'll turn right. out my CD because it's done now. My new uh, Nine Inch Nail CD, their new album. And let's see, here's my next turn right here. Oops. here it'll start getting newer again the houses that is I believe these are late 70s early 80s and parallel parked cars on both sides and let's see I will turn here now and then down here, here are some even newer houses, probably built in the 90s, and yeah, here's a, oops, here's a much narrower, much older street, with older houses, and then up here is another main road. down there, if I had turned left, I would have gone over the um, Bearer Bypass, which is part of US Route 1, and then that goes right into downtown Bel Air. This right here was built sometime in the 80s, I think. And then as we get down here, most of the houses down here are newer. They were built during the 90s. Wait, I have to turn right here. This is actually the same road. It just loops around and goes back to that intersection back there.
it's all like connected. Left turn here. And right here, I think. Uh, yeah. And then this next turn is actually one way the other way, which is kind of ridiculous. So I'm just gonna turn left here anyway, because it's really short. So, um, please don't do what I'm doing now, because it's illegal. But, um, anyway, um, this is the vast development before I get back onto the main route. houses are uh, older and they're pretty nice too and now this is the road that will take the rest of the way into town oh and right over there is a golf course winners run golf club Now I'm on Tollgate Road, and now this will take me into downtown Bel Air, to the Hartford Mall area. So, that'll be it for this video, so thanks for watching.